for me. No, okay. it doesn't. No, you, that, you, that means you I actually got to try and do things. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I know, it's so difficult to pour things in a mixer and push a button. Boring it's really difficult. No. <laughs> not going to happen, JD. I don't care what you say. For real. Yeah, we're in quarantine, but you're going to go somewhere to get the mix. Right. JD, we're in to get quarantine. The, get the stuff from another to, company. We don't have to leave the car. Just drive up, grab it, and go. You don't I'm have to looking out either. for small businesses. Small you're, I'm looking businesses. out for small businesses. You're not, JD. You're yeah, thinking JD. about yourself. So Chili's selfish. is not a small business. I want to I want to I want to I would need to spend a couple of bucks more to support my small businesses, okay? Yeah, you, you go to support a small liquor store. There you go. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about, man, obviously. Everybody, welcome to the Three Way Podcast. Today we got the Three Musketeers. Uh, myself, JD McKinney. You got uh, Lois, and you got Jerks. What the hell is this? <laughs> Apparently, Lois is throwing up some gang signs here. I'm not sure what's wrong with that. No, it's three. It's the Three Musketeers. That's it. Oh, okay, got you. It's the Three Musketeers gang sign. Apparently. Okay, so um, <laughs> we got your. Uh, a little bit of information we got going on today. We're going to kick it off with, I guess we're going to kick it off with some gaming, right? Game over. All right. So apparently the PS uh, released their controller, the new controller. Brand and apparently new it's controller, bud. Causing a whole, it's causing a whole lot of uh, controversy about the way it looks, but I'm like, it looks like the rest of them. Looks what like do you PS4 mean it looks like the rest of them? It doesn't look like the rest of them. Looks amazing. Well, I mean, it looks like it looks. It's, it's a similar design to the PS4. I mean, it's not like it's really a whole big. No, difference. this doesn't look like the PS4 controller. Because that's the what P- I've been. That's the what I've seen the big, the big hype is. Was like a lot thinner around the. Uh, the well, the, I'm, the talking about, I'm talking about I'm talking about button design. Button, button oh yeah, of course they're not gonna you know? go. They're gonna. They're yeah. not gonna stray away too much no, from the PS4. I like okay, it. A dude. lot of, a lot of people were like in this last generation, were already giving the. Um, the best controller ever made to Xbox. I don't agree with that. The Xbox One controller, to me, it's fine. I was more of a DualShock 4 fan. I really liked that controller. I really liked the way it felt. Maybe, yeah, the triggers weren't the greatest triggers ever, but overall, the design, I really liked the DualShock 4. Here, with the DualSense, that's what it's called, the PlayStation DualSense. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it looks more like an Xbox One controller. It it really does, um, but not me. But um, a lot of people complained about that previous design, uh, and like I said, we're called, saying that the Xbox One controller is the best. So this is just uh, to me, it's just PlayStation saying, okay, well y'all want it bulkier, here you go, right? Um, supposedly it has haptic feedback. It has a uh, headphone port at the bottom. It's UV, UVC, UV, what's it, UVC? USB C. USB C charge. So <laughs> that's a really common uh, port now, and everyone's using it. So that's a good choice yeah. on, on their part. Um, rechargeable. Uh, I mean, I, I really like the. No, the batteries are, are ex- uh, interchangeable. That, that's different. Yeah, I was like using the PS PS controllers, you couldn't take out the batteries. Yeah, you, have, not before, you know, but this time you can. That's a smart design right there. That is, design that change, is better. You know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so I don't know. I I'm, I'm I need to put it in my hands to really. I don't care about the look really. I think the design is fine. I mean, the white and the black, eh, it's okay. Yeah. Um, but I, I just need to put the controller in my hand to really have a judgment on whether it was a good choice or not. Yeah. Like I said, I really like the the controller they have now. Uh, I'm gonna miss it. I hope. <laughs> I, oh, I well, mean, you can still use the controller on the new PS5. Can I? Oh, that'll be great. Yeah, cause you can. I'll just do that because I don't. I, I'm not really interested in. An, I, 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 when it comes to shooters, and I'm mm-hmm. on my PS4 controller, and I'm on the Xbox One controller. Yeah. I I always want to go PS4. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I'm going to be my, honest. That's my choice. That's my the, choice. The button land on the Xbox Five does make more sense for the or the Xbox uh, controller. Does make more sense because you think about it. How often do you use the D-pad? 
how much more often do you use the, the, the thumbsticks? So thumbsticks being on either side of the controller really makes a lot more sense for, for ergonomics than it does for anything else, you know? Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I think the two-tone colors are, are, are great because it gives it more of a character, uh, more personality. I do like that they changed the light bar to the side of the controller instead of right in the middle, right in your face. Agreed, uh, yeah. Uh, they did change the what is it, the share button to the create button, which is basically the same thing I assume. Uh, I do like the the shape of it, the design of it. Uh, a lot of the complaints of the earlier controllers is that they were too small. So I guess those baby hands was you know it was okay with those. <laughs> I love those controllers, man. <laughs> like I don't, I, I really didn't complain, but it, it like if, when you're gaming, like you know sweating and then like playing COD or something. Like you do, kind of lose grip on the smaller controllers, and I would prefer yeah. a little bit more um, meat on my bones. Um, I don't like the one thing I do not like. Why the fuck did they put a microphone right in the middle of the controller? What the hell is your problem? What is that, Siri? I have something else listening to me now. You know, Alexa, it's okay. <laughs> I have PlayStation now. Like, why did they yeah. add a, a microphone to the controller? Like, well, you know, it's it's allowed people to easily chat with friends without a headset. Oh no, bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> it's to monitor us. <laughs> to, now, to, um, what are these guys I, really saying while they play video games? Mm -hmm. So, so the controller is white. So, can we just assume right now that the system is going to be a white? system well, I think, I'm pretty I think sure it's, it's going to be similar we're seeing. I'm pretty it's sure it's going to be similar to this I'm pretty sure no 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 I think this is the final version of the PS5 controller and I, and, and I think I, I think it's going to be two toned like uh, that oh I don't know man yeah I, mean, I think it's going to be two toned like white, this and I, and I can't okay. wait to see it if it's all white okay my PS4 Pro is all white my Xbox One X is all white I really like the all white design but two toned you're putting now uh, I don't know, man. I, that's where I'm like, okay, now this is gonna <laughs> look tacky. Like you, you run the risk of making like, uh, compared to everything else on my entertainment system, which is sleek design. Okay, now you're just now getting you're into some... your own personal thing, as in like aesthetics. Bro, <laughs> like... now you're putting something <laughs> tacky on there. Like, and this has gone back to PS1, PS2, PS3. It's all been one tone sleek designs. Now you want to put a two tone something black. On my entertainment system? Uh-uh. I don't know about that. Like, <laughs> hey, if they want to mess with the colors, with the controllers, I'm all for it. Because that means a lot of future, uh, like, designs that they're going to release. I'm all down for that. Leave the system sleek. L don't mess with the system too much, man. Don't try to get too cute. Like, leave it simple, sleek. That's all we want. Small. And it doesn't fucking sound like a jet engine. That's all I want for my system. Yeah, that's really the big thing. Yeah, I think I think that's the main thing they better fix is the overheating and the fans yeah. not working. Yeah, that fan, the PS4 Pro fan, even though it's a pro, it still goes off. I mean, it, it's my personal heater in the living room. I don't, so <laughs> I don't need. That's what I want for. Um, you know, that's what I want most from my from my PS5 is for it to be quiet and sleek. You don't even notice it. If you look at it, it's pretty. I don't need no two-tone. Nah, oh I don't need Oh, my God. That. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right, so we're going to move on to the next topic. Yeah. All right, going with the Google Stadia Pro version goes free Ooh, for two months. So my first question is, what the hell is Google Stadia? <laughs> I honestly, I, until we, we started discussing today, I had never heard of this product, and it really that upset me because I do. What? I try, never I try heard of this. I try to keep in touch with this kind of stuff, and, I, and I, that tells me that's shitty marketing right there. And I that's never exactly the problem: is that Google Stadia released last September um, to people that had ordered uh, ahead of time. They get a controller, they get a Google Chrome, they get the subscription, and but obviously that model has not worked. No one, I, I don't know anyone with Google Stadia. Yeah. Like JD pointed out, he hasn't heard about this shit. After they announce their initial uh, uh, games that they'll be having that are exclusive, which aren't in line, we just haven't heard anything else about those games, about Google Stadia. So this just seems to me, well, now we got to go free to play, kind of, because you still. Yeah. So the bad thing is with Google Stadia, you buy the subscription service. Right, you're paying every month for the subscription, mm -hmm. and then you got to buy the games. So, 
Unlike, well, I was looking. They've got two different types of subscriptions. They've got like a ten dollar a month, and they got a hundred and thirty dollar. Which I think the hundred thirty dollar, I don't know if that's a month. Yeah. I couldn't tell if that's a monthly uh, or, a so, or or annually. Too many tiers as well because they have a regular HD subscription, which your your games will only go up to 1080p. I think 30 frames per second. Um, and then they have the 4K subscription where your games will go up to 4K, 60 frames. You get the whole thing. So it's like the subscription models are all over the place. Like you said, they have the year part. They have the monthly. And then you got to buy the games. You, you don't really get it any free. I think there's a couple of free games you get. But other than that, you pay full price for all your games. Yeah. It, it's just all over the place, the marketing. It, it, it's hard to understand at times for someone who hasn't really delved into it. Mm. it it's just, yeah. And I don't think this free-to-play is going to help because you still got to no. buy these games at full price. Uh, now they're well, letting I... you use your own controllers. Mm. But, yeah. All right. Like I said, I was I was trying to find out information of it. It looks like I don't have the different. Usually, different tiers mean different different types of of play. Like you said, well, here let me let me read from the article here from Kotaku. Uh, Google announced today it's making a Stadia Pro uh, uh, video game streaming service free to everyone for the next two months as people stay home to limit the spread of COVID nineteen. Uh, quote, video games are an available way to socialize with friends and family when you're stuck at home. So we're giving gamers in 14 countries free access to Stadia for two months. Uh, end quote, says Phil Harrison, uh, the head of Google Stadia. Uh, while, uh, while most games available to, ste to stream through Google Stadia need to be bought, the pro subscription comes with free uh, with some free ones. Currently, it includes nine games, the most notable, which are Destiny 2, Grid, uh, Steam World Quest Hand of uh, Gelmamic and Thumper. Uh, Stadia Pro is normally $10 a month subscription. Uh, these already subscribed simply won't get billed for the next two months while people signing up for the first time will start getting charged after the time is up unless they, they cancel their memberships. Uh, and then there was, a, there was an update to this article. It sounds like this is the official launch of Stadia's free tier after all because they haven't actually released a free version of Stadia like the free tier they, they just been uh trying to like push the pro version so th this is like their official launch of the free version um what i'm understanding i mean stadia i was i was behind stadia i did want stadia to succeed because stadia feels like this would be the future i mean everybody uses the internet everybody's always connected a lot of these games are like uh, uh online services you know what i mean type of game so i was like okay i understand uh, you don't have to buy a console. The console is already in the cloud. Uh, so this is really too much different from what we already use in terms of how like we would buy the console and then we have to pay for the online service and then we have to pay for the video games. And then every once in a True. while, every month, they, they release free games on their platforms. So, True. Yeah. so I, wouldn't, I didn't have a problem with it. But the thing is, is that they messed up where they overpromised and didn't didn't uh didn't follow through deliver yeah, yeah. they didn't deliver my, what they promised mm -hmm. my, my thing is you're right we already we're doing that i'm doing that for my ps4 and my xbox i'm even paying online for my switch um but these are companies that are well established mm -hmm. you know what you're gonna get you know you're getting these first uh party exclusives xbox has a great online where you get game pass and xbox live like you you know what you're getting these are well-established companies. You're just jumping in, so you gotta give. You gotta really put yourself out there. You can't just say, "Oh, well, you guys are already doing this model. Let me let us do the same thing." Mm -hmm. um, I think that was their mistake. They just had to really put themselves out there. Maybe even take a loss on whatever their program is gonna be to really uh, get yourself into the market. And it just seems they haven't done that. And now uh, they're really trying to promote themselves in a certain way. And it might be too little too late, but you know, yeah. we'll see. Well, yeah, at this point, I feel it is a little bit too late. Uh, it's already the bad taste in the mouth. They don't communicate what they're doing. They're really quiet. Uh, for a company, doesn't really have like a, like a front man, like a Phil, uh, like a like a uh, uncle phil, phil from, spencer, yeah, phil spencer or, or uh, regis yeah. phil zaman yeah or... for different companies like they don't have that personality to be like hey everything's gonna be okay just you know we're working on it uh they're really bad with the communication they dropped the ball they they over promised under delivered uh i think 
it, Stadia could have been something great if they would have just, again, like it's been said over and over again, if they would have just said, hey, this is just some beta right now. If you want to jump in right now, understand there's going to be a lot of like uh, issues still, technical issues. But nope, they went for a full release and they messed it up. Yeah, from what I'm looking at, like I said, it was it was just uh, the the $130 price. So that was actually include the Chromecast mm -hmm. controller and three months of uh, free service. And oh, yeah, it, it is. It's just like Xbox Live. It's just a, it's just a service yeah. to get onto the system, yeah. you know. And then of course, you know, even on Xbox Live, you got to pay for the games. But yeah, you're right. They should have added on a game streaming service on top of that, like Xbox Live does. No, you know? well, the the thing is too is that they they messed up where. Uh, there was a lot of reports too of behind the scenes uh, issues where they, whoever was in charge of them, like uh, procuring the games and you know having them come to Cedia, they were doing a terrible job in terms of like the deals they were doing behind behind closed doors. They were mm -hmm. undercutting. They were trying to undercut everybody, like undersell, uh, like basically not pay up what everybody else is paying for these type of games right. to come to their platforms, and they messed up like that. And you know that's gonna. Again, that's just leaving bad taste, not only now in the consumer's point of view, but also in the companies that are, that you're yeah, kind of like, yeah, that yeah, yeah, you yeah. need to survive. And they try to like, they've been trying to have their own like uh, gaming studio too. But I mean, as of now, shit, I don't even know, especially with COVID-19 is making it even worse for them. Yeah. And unfortunately, the, you know, they got those established like, like Xbox and PlayStation are established in the community. People, they've already got a good, good rapport with the community. Mm -hmm. You're trying to throw something brand new out there. It's just going to, if you like, the, you know, if you don't do it right with the game community, you're going to flop. And it's, that's just what happened. Yep. I don't, I don't think you're going to, yeah. I saw somebody put, put in the post that they don't expect it to last past December of 2020. I put it even sooner. I don't think it's going to last past this summer. Damn. All right. No. Well, Unfortunately, Google's not very good with the human element. They don't have a lot of whole human support, so that's you know they really need to work on that part too for all of their products. Because right now, you know, if you want help with anything, you can't you can't really talk to somebody. You have to put an email, and hopefully, it gets responded to by somebody. You know, mm -hmm. so <clears throat> but that's the way of the world, apparently. All right, all right, and of course, next we got the Final Fantasy VII Ooh. remake release. And Battle of course, Fantasy. my question is: This is how many freaking times are going to re-release this damn thing? What do you mean? It's like what? It's like what? The fifteenth remake or something like that? What the no, heck? this is the first time they've ever rem remade it. No, they they've remade this at least two times before. They, they, they're I should have I should have won that just, game. Those are, those are just in your damn giveaway. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Piss, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bullshit. No, no I, mean, all I remember. Right, all right. So Final Fantasy VII is no. out. Uh, so far the reviews have been pretty positive. Uh, uh, are you guys going to get it or not? One I can afford to it. Well, is it, it's only on a PlayStation, right? Yeah. Right now it, it's PlayStation yeah, exclusive I, for one year. Probably not until I get the, uh, yeah. Once it comes out for Xbox, I probably will. Uh, I shall have a PlayStation, so I can't really play it right now, but you know, I, I love the original. So, I mean, seeing if they can see, see how they remastered, I would love to see that. And then oh, you, play you it. play the original Final Fantasy VII? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I think I still have it in one of my boxes somewhere. Oh shit. You know, I've got, yeah, I've got it. I've got that. the original PlayStation Two version. So, um, yeah, I loved it. It was fun. I was, I mean, I never beat it because the damn thing was freaking hard as hell. But yeah, I was, I loved it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was the, you know, the combination of the materia and everything like that, or materia. Mm -hmm. You know, I can make, you make different stuff, and it was kind of, it was kind of fun. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, see, you know, see some updated graphics, and hopefully, see if they did the storyline. Mm -hmm. Loves. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to get the physical copy, and so. A lot of places are closed, so if I, if that's not possible, I might just wait. But uh, it it does look good. I'm hearing a lot of good things about it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man. I mean, I, I'm gonna get it. I just gotta no, wait no for way. someone to open up <laughs> to get a fuzzy copy. But, uh, uh, but yeah, I didn't win, so I'm pretty uh, salty <laughs> about that. So, but yeah, no, it looks good, man. Um, if someone's not having anything to play at the moment. Uh, that's something I recommend. I'm hearing people going 30 hours with it, 40 hours with it. So it, it's a lot, uh, packed in there and it looks good, man. Yeah. I'm excited for when I do. Yeah, if they kept the original, it, if they kept the original design as far as the, the storyline, that thing has got hours of playability. I mean, I mean, literally, I mean, like you could play it two or three weeks and still not beat the dang thing. For, from you my know? understanding is that the, the game itself, this remake is just part one of like uh, several oh, nice. parts and that, I like I said I've never played the original so I don't know but apparently you don't this this whole game right here is basically just a Midgard section I don't know what that means correct so it doesn't yeah. go yeah. past that and it's saying too that um 
that uh what was it like is it like one one fifth of one fourth of the actual whole game is basically this and but they said they did fill out the world they they made uh branching storylines uh side missions uh extended storylines for the main characters but i don't know what they actually did change or what they didn't change so i've been actually i've been looking for the spoilers but i haven't found them <laughs> i think if i remember right it, it maybe it not was it wasn't the one but it was one of the first few multi-disc games i think it had like three or four discs yeah. to it yeah so yeah it was a huge game when it came out and so i think the other thing i liked about it was it wasn't just you weren't it, it appealed to everybody you had the the guys who like to play the storyline it also had a side card game you can play inside the game mm. you, could, you, you could you could buy cards or, you know inside the game and play that too if you wanted to so you had those guys who like playing like magic or, or pokemon that kind of thing they had something to play as well, as well just besides playing the actual game itself all right yeah, I said it was. It was. It was an excellent game. I can understand why they keep remaking it, and because it was, it was an excellent game when it came out, and I'm being able to remaster the remaster the uh, graphics and make it look even better. I think it's going to really, really improve the game a lot. Yeah, I mean, from what I've seen, it looks great. Uh, I I was watching the, <clears throat> the the final boss fight yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like I really don't care for the game. Like, I like Man. I don't care for the spoilers and shit. So I'm trying to find them. I want to know like what's the difference between this one and the new one, or the I'm sorry, yeah. the original and the new one. So I like I've been looking for that shit, but apparently like there was like a lot of embargoes, a lot of like hush hush things around it. Yeah. Give me the spoilers for the game. I don't care. <laughs> so that was, that was the other thing was it was it was one of the best as far as the uh, like when you had to summon a monster. Some of the big time monsters yeah. had some of the best call scenes. I mean, it was just freaking. You call this one dragon, and this freaking thing just looked huge and amazing. Yeah. It came down and just ripped the crap out of your enemies. It was just like you wanted to call him every single time just to see that scene. You know. <laughs> I could have fucking won it, but I didn't. Oh my god. Okay. Anyways, you know, it would have been funny if I would have entered and I would have won it. That'd have been great. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's move on to sports. Sports. Uh, touchdown is a home run. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> unfortunately, because it looks like X XFL may have died out again. Uh oh. Spoiler yeah, alert. Unfortunately, that, I mean that was that was actually looking like it was going to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing to to watch too. If whatever, you know when you wanted an off season football game, but I don't know. I just I mean I feel bad because this. Yeah. Is, actually put some real good time and, and effort into this one to make it a legitimate football uh, yeah, league, it, you know. Unfortunately, they, they suspended operations. It looks like, uh, it, I mean, damn, man, this COVID-19 thing came at the yeah. wrong time. <clears throat> yeah, really they were on really their really ways did. up. Uh, Houston Roughnecks were undefeated. It looks like they were on route <laughs> to, to win the league. Man, it was just, nah, it, it had, sucked, they man. They lost like, their quarterback. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to the NFL now, so yeah. it's just a shame, man. Like uh, the league was really on the up. Uh, it looks like it was gonna, it, it was gonna <clears> succeed. <throat> I mean, pe the games, people were going to the games, people were watching the games. Uh, it looks like the the league was gonna succeed, and then this this uh, epidemic happens and kind of does away with everything they they worked hard for. Uh, hopefully, down the road. Um, you know, all these players have now lost their jobs. They're not employed anymore. Hopefully well, they got paid until the, the end of the season anyway. That's a, that's at least a good thing is they were being paid until the end of the season regardless. So, um, no, unfortunately, me, they got me, fired, so they're not getting well, paid anymore. Well, let me, uh, let no, me no, read, just, let just read from the yeah, Bleacher Report. Yeah, I was reading on ESPN. So. All right, from Bleacher Report, XFL suspends operations, lay off, lays off all employees amid COVID-19 epidemic. Uh, one month after canceling the regular season, the XFL has suspended operations and laid off all of its employees because of the coronavirus pandemic. Per ESPN sources, uh, Field Yates XFL COO Jeffrey Pollock said employees were informed of the decision this Friday, April 10th. Um, NFL Network's Mike Garofalo added <laughs> the XFL will pay employees through, the, through Sunday. Through Sunday. But beyond yeah, that, so. it's unclear when it, or if the le the league might return. When the XFL canceled the remainder of the 2020 season, the league's official statement was, uh, "quote committed to paying a full season in 20 uh, committed to playing a full season in 2021 and future years." End quote. Uh, Vince McMahon, best known as the chairman and CEO of WWE, relaunched the XFL this year. He was expecting to spend around 500 million dollars through the three seasons and employee salaries and all the levels and to build the brand. The XFL was made up of eight teams and were expected to play 10 re week regular seasons with the top two teams in each division advancing to the playoffs. The championship game was scheduled to be played on April 26th. 
So, well, I don't know. I don't, make know. A I don't know if they're going to come back. Hopefully, they do come back, but let's. I don't well, know. the fans yeah, are going to make a difference. I hope you know, so. The fans, fans are going to have to be the ones if they decide, hey, we want to see this again, and they start putting enough of a. Uh, a fuss about it. I think it'll come back next year. If nobody really says anything, we don't have any see, see any fan interaction as far as that goes. Yeah, it, it's not going to come back. It's just because they don't feel like it's a, again. Like I said this is a failed effort again yeah. on a, on a on a league that they try to do, and I don't think it's gonna it's gonna pan out if they just can't get the people there to watch it. Right. All right. Well, I guess that's it. yes, he agrees. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, and the next one we have was the MLB, MLB is going to be restructuring their leagues for the next. They want to do that for the 2020 season. Well, basically, what their MLB is not trying to lose the season, right? Uh, right. Obviously, these people want to. Uh, uh, they want to make money. These owners want to make money. So, one of the ideas is not clear cut, but there's a bunch of rumors about what what the MLB is going to be trying to do. One of the ideas, because the, the season should be going on right now. Like, the right. season yeah, for them starts at the beginning of March. Yeah. It, we're right at the beginning of the season right now. So, it, what I'm hearing is, well, from the rumors that are out there, is that Your MLB is looking <laughs> to play. Yeah, my sources. is looking to play their regular season in Japan. What? So I, haven't, Japan. I haven't found anything about that. I found every, everything I've seen Why was, on, in was in Arizona and Florida. I haven't seen anything about Japan yet. Correct. There was an Arizona rumor that they would play all their games in Arizona. Um, uh, yeah, like uh, throughout the state. Uh, but now I'm hearing Japan because supposedly from ownership, their idea, their thinking is that Japan is going to get through this much faster than the U.S. is, oh. right? The U.S. is Ooh. lagging. Japan is kind of already ahead of it. Um, and it looks like they're in the end phases of it. So they're talking about playing their game in Japan in Japanese uh, stadiums. And uh, the MLB would play in the day. Uh, Japanese teams would play at night. Um and yeah, I mean that's kind of what is going on as far as rumors go from the MLB. The MLB to me is like, okay, is they're just taking a bunch of situations and saying like, boom, 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 boom. This is all the the different scenarios we could have, and they're gonna go from there. So I know that sounds crazy to play the Honestly, MLB league in Japan, but I think they're considering a little bit of everything. Honestly, I don't see that just because that's gonna be a lot of extra money. You gotta fly your your players over to Japan. You can't leave them over there the whole time because you got all these, you know, like what? How many different teams we got going on? Thirty different teams, you know. And you, no, you uh, fly, they would. And they would all. They would live like, in Japan for the season. Right. So now you got flight. You got. You got to have a. Housing. You got to feed them while they're over there. You got to house them while they're over there. I mean, it's just. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be more a, a bigger cost to do that than it would be just have them play in stadiums here in the U.S. You know, unlimited stadiums. Yeah, they, should, I mean, they should just have I, them play here with empty stadiums. I mean, why yeah. have to fly on way I mean, over there? But see, you know, I think they, they, to them, I think selling tickets is a big thing. So, it might, like, the Japanese league, Japanese people already kind of follow uh, the, the MLB, MLB a little yeah. bit. Because of, uh, uh, you know, there's some Japanese players in the league. It's the best league in the world. And ba baseball is pretty big in Japan. But imagine, to me, it would be like a good push marketing and, and making the league worldwide. Okay. Because now you have Japanese people watching your games every, every day. They're following it more because their games are being played in their soil. I feel like it would grow the, the brand more worldwide. Do I think it's going to happen? Like JD says, not really. I think it's a long shot. Um, it would be more expensive to, to do that, but... I think, like I said, MLB is taking everything in consideration. I don't think this this epidemic is going to – we're just going to stop at the end of April. I think it's going to leak into May, and that's why I think they're considering just doing it elsewhere because there's no telling where the U.S. is going to end up, and Japan's already at the latter part of it, so mm – -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, you know, like, like I said, but most I've seen was about you know, a grapefruit and cactus league. Um, and like I said, you know, look, I mean, man, as yeah, an so, Astros fan, <laughs> I, I kind of, I'm, I'm re I don't care what they do. I mean, playing at empty stadiums, playing Japan, I don't care. 
just get the season going. <laughs> yeah, you know, and that's, it. And that's, that's the thing. I mean, but it, again, you're having 30 teams trying to play in two stadiums. I think it's going to be a bad idea. They need to open up a couple more stadiums at oh, least. Oh, no. J- Japan yeah. has a bunch of stadiums. Like I said, Japan yeah. is, is big on baseball. That's one of the biggest sports in Japan. Uh, so you know, I'm saying if they do it here in the U.S., you know, only playing in Arizona and, and, and Florida. Yeah, they would know. be doing college stadiums. Yeah, so uh, I mean. Big league stadiums. So, yeah, it. They would be using the college stadiums as well, um, yeah. so that's where, yeah, it, it's hard to say what what they're gonna do, right? So. Right. Uh oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're gonna move on to pop culture. Hey. Pop. 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 Ha! At least I got it right this time. <laughs> All right. So apparently, uh, the Honey Boo Boo of Oklahoma is gonna be having a new episode. Netflix uh, Tiger King. Oh. New episode coming out on 412. Oh, yes, I'm throwing shade there. <laughs> Wait, so, you, hold on, Jerry, what's it? going on? Have you seen it, though? I do. I have not. You know, I like my brain cells where they're at. I don't want to kill them off by trying to trying to watch this stuff. So, Brother, you got to watch this, all right? Look, I, I didn't like it at first. Just watch it, all right? You know, it. I get enough on, on social media about it. I don't need to actually watch it. I, you no, know, no, don't talk about on social, social media. media okay? just, just <laughs> yeah, you need to watch it, bro. Yeah, you hey, Jerry, so what is, what is this? episode about what what is uh, it uh okay uh well reading from this polygon article article netflix is tiger king will get a new episode this sunday that's april 12th so this is a day after uh since the documentary series the tiger king debuted on netflix on march 20th it became a viral sensation catching the attention of celebrities like cardi b and even prompting fans to pay <laughs> tribute to animal crossing new horizon uh, now Netflix is adding it, adding yet more fuel to the f- flames with an additional episode of the series, an after show called The Tiger King and I, hosted by Joel McHale. Uh, the original documentary series was filmed over five years by Eric Good and Rebecca Chocklin. Uh, it focused on former zoo operator Joe Exotic, uh, actual name Joe Mand- Mandalando Passage. Uh, and his feud with animal rights activist Carol fucking Baskins. Uh, as the series <laughs> progressed, the animosity between the two, particularly from Under the Passage End, uh, became more and more heated, circum- uh, cir- uh, accumulating in Mandalone's Passage, attempting to ba- have Baskins assassinate, allegedly. Um, the new installment will feature new interviews with subjects from the series, including John Renke, Staff, and Jeff, and Lauren Lowe. Uh, it's scheduled to hit uh, Netflix again April twelfth. Um, so it's just it's like basically a post Tiger King thing. There's so much hype and love for this documentary. Uh, everybody wants Joe Exotic to be free, but I, I think just leave his ass in jail. Uh, like hey, I said hey, before, if, if throw, Trump, him, throw him all releases, in jail. Throw him all in jail. If Trump releases uh, the Tiger King, I'm voting for Trump. What? <laughs> oh hell! If he pardons him, oh lord! If he pardons him, yes. So essentially, uh, this is a Tiger King. Where are they at now? Episode. Yeah, pretty much because yeah, all of this was filmed like five years ago. Then all yeah. of a sudden it blew up. But uh, I'm watching uh, again. I would recommend you watch it too. I didn't like it at first, but it's so much drama, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I have so much more else to do. You know, like sleep. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> <laughs> are you watching Lowe's? Uh, hell yeah, I'm watching it. <laughs> all right. Well, Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Then. Well, we're going to have to see you right. and see and probably talk about it in the next episode. Yes. Yeah. Next next up, we got Demon Slayer Infinity what? Train teaser trailer. Oh, there he is. And, oh. What? I'll be oh. honest. I have, I have not seen this anime yet, but it actually looks kind of cool from the picture I'm seeing, fuck? so I might have to check it out. Dude, y'all know no, it what? Didn't. It's from Girls. I don't, I, you Demon know what? The last Slayer. anime I watched was was uh, was uh, Ninja Scroll. Series that was the last anime series I actually watched. Okay, okay that look, was a while ago. JD, I I like that anime, but Jesus, it's like more than twenty years ago. It's like <laughs> no, 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 not not the not the actual anime movie. I'm talking about the series. The series is only like ten years ago. Ninja Scroll? No, yeah, no, Ninja Scroll right? series. That's like in the eighties, isn't it? No, no, no. That was in the nineties. I know that much because I was I was I first watched it when I was in uh, in Chicago the first time. That was back in ninety six. Oh, well, so Demon Demon Slayer is trash. No, it's not. <laughs> Anyways, Demon Slayer. They're releasing the film. They finally have uh, a little teaser trailer. Uh, release date. Uh, as of right now, the release date though is in, is Japan release date October 16. 
don't know if that's going to come to theaters, depending on how all this goes. Maybe we'll have a direct to, you know, home release. Who knows? Right. Uh, but this is from the Polygon article. The movie will be called Demon Slayer Kimitsu no Yami, the movie Mugen Train. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, my is. God. <laughs> uh, though it's like to be shortened to Demon Slayer Infinity Train for its U.S. release based on the most English language reporting. Uh, the story will pick up immediately after season one of the show and will cover the Demon Slayer uh, Demon Train arc from the manga. It is a short interlude that takes the cast to the mysterious train that's said to have some demon activity causing passengers to disappear. And since it's this is Demon Slayer, that means there's plenty of fighting involved. Uh, literally, Demon Slayer has been one of my favorite anime. Like, it overtook My Hero. Because My Hero tends to have too much, like, tends to have fillers when it shouldn't really like i guess they do that because of the manga they want to slow it down like not move too far ahead of the manga but this this series is so damn good dude it's so entertaining the characters are all like great characters to like to fall for like it, it's a great anime i would recommend anybody to go watch it i think it's on hulu uh crunchyroll i believe i don't know go watch it it's great catch up to the first season it's only like 20 something episode like 25 24 and then get ready for the movie well, I mean, it, it depends on when the movie's going to come out, because right now it's only releasing in Japan, but which makes sense. I mean, you don't want to. I mean, if you put it release in the U.S., most people are going to want to listen, you know, watch it in English. I mean, the diehard fans are going to want to watch the sub, you know, the the, the subtitle version. But um, most of us, like me, I don't, I don't like watching subtitled movies. I, I want to I read a movie. I'll go read a book. Um, That's what I'm saying too. But look, listen, you know. I'm the same way, 100. percent I've always said like I would prefer a dubbed anime over a subbed one. This right. one, I have. I think I tried listening to this, the dub version. I couldn't do it. Like this anime captivated me so much on its on its uh, just the regular Japanese uh, uh, version, uh, spoken language. Uh, the subs are fine. Like it's so good, dude. It's so well animated too. Just give it a chance. It's really entertaining. I promise you that. Like I say, yeah, it looks interesting. I do like the look of it. I'm just looking at a little bit of it right now, and it just—it looks like something I might actually watch. But like said, <laughs> why are you shaking your head? <laughs> hey, yeah, okay. You like Tiger King? You can't say nothing about this, okay? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but uh, yeah, I think like I said it, it looks interesting. I might actually go check it out. Um, but yeah, it's a, you know, and it makes sense that they're only released, you know, they're not releasing a, a, an English a dub version yet because think about it. You know, how many times do things get leaked here in, here in America? And they want to, I think they want to make sure it doesn't get leaked yet until it gets released first. So, so it, might, it might be a couple months before we have to see a U.S. release. All right. All right. And I guess our uh, last thing is the Space Force images have been Space released. Space <laughs> Why are you Space Force! Um, I'm, I'm excited. We haven't really seen much of this uh, Netflix show, Space Force. You know, Steve Carell. Um, He's back, baby. We don't really know what kind of humor they're going to go mm. after. Is it going to be more office? Is it going to be well, something else? No, no, no. I think it's, uh, it's going to be very office-like because they keep they keep referring the office in this. For As a matter of fact, in this article for Polygon, Steve Carell takes on space in the first images of Netflix's office replacement. I guess because they're losing the office as well. I don't know. Uh, the oh yeah yeah they are uh, excuse me the office may be leaving Netflix eventually to spread its wings on NBC Peacock which is their streaming service oh jeez yeah. uh, but another workplace yeah, comedy such starring, a terrible name Peacock Steve, yeah what? <laughs> but another well, workplace comedy thing, starring so. Steve Carell will rise up and take its place Enter Space Force a workplace comedy by the creator of The Office centered around a gaggle of government employees tasked with creating a sixth branch of the U.S. military uh, that you guessed it Space Force. Uh, yes, so we get our first images. I'm going to put them on the YouTube side. If you guys want to, uh, you guys should just listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Go check yeah. out our YouTube version of this. We're going to show you images. But yeah, I mean, it looks, I mean, they're just pictures right now. It looks okay. It looks, it looks like it could be funny. Uh, I do well, see some high touted actors like John Malkovich yeah. in here. Yeah, so, anytime, I think anytime you got John Malkovich in anything, you're going to expect some, at least some kind of good quality out of this because. I really haven't seen much he's done crap in. You know, it's just, he's, he's like he's like Tom Hanks. He really doesn't I, do a whole lot of really bad stuff. So I, I don't like that they have that guy who voiced Sonic in here. I don't think he's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just, I just know him as Ralphie from uh, Parks and Rec. Yeah. No, he's good in that show. He's good in Parks and Rec. So I'm yeah, excited. Parks and Rec is fine. Uh, but I don't know. But I, yeah, I want to see. I want to see what this. 
I want to see what this show is like, really, how is it going to go, what's the flow, uh, so I'm excited. If it's just too similar to The Office, I don't think I'll like it. I don't I don't want something similar to The Office. We have it. It's The Office. I want something fresh and different. Well, you think about it, if you can bring something like The Office with a different aspect to it, I think it's what's going to appeal to a lot of people. Like you said, because people like The Office, but if you can put a different spin on it and maybe make it similar. And a lot of people didn't want to see The Office go, so if you give them something else that they can watch as far as The Office goes, but with a different look, I think a lot of people might, might actually enjoy this. Yeah, well, there's, I guess. There's been a lot of talks of Office reunion shows and stuff like that. I listened to yeah. the uh, podcast that uh, uh, Jenna Fisher and – I forgot her name. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah anyways, it's called The Office Ladies. They do have a podcast, and they have talked about, like, like, it, it, like there's been, like, talks of rumors of a reunion for The Office. Uh, so far, like, it seems like everybody would be on board with it. And I don't – and then – there. oh, excuse me. There was also talks of a reboot, too, uh, more of a continuation of The Office series. I don't want that. The uh, Office was a reboot. It was re- there the, was the UK reboot. What do you mean reboot? You can't. Reboot. No, the Office originally originally was in the UK, and then they rebooted it into the American version. Yeah, the superior version. <laughs> I'm just saying, no, it was already a reboot. Are you gonna reboot the reboot? I mean, come on. Uh, well, no, I, yeah, I, you know, they're just restarting it because they, they already yeah. finished it with the other storyline. But I, I don't want to see another storyline. Uh, I think the way it ended, it was fine. They kind of killed it for me at the end. Uh, literally, as soon as uh, C. Carroll left, the show was over. I mean, kind of like Scrub, Scrubs at the end of season eight. Once they get into that, I should have just they really just left it. I never watched Scrubs. I I never liked that show. <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious show. Anyway, um, that's my opinion. But no, I, all I know is if they make it kind of similar to The Office and they don't use cameos from The Office, I'll be very upset. Ooh. You know, that's that's. Not, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna make it similar to an Office episode, Office Office series, and you don't bring in somehow bring in some of those those uh, actors at least, you know, and put them in there. And make it interesting. I mean, that would be. Yeah, kind of, Steve, kind of Steve Carell doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to do it. So, yeah. As, if, if Steve Carell's not doing it, then not they doing probably it. won't green light it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. but looks like that's all we've got for today. Uh, any last words? <laughs> Damn, what are we doing? Um, <laughs> I should have won Final Fantasy oh Seven remake. God. I'm still pissed. I feel there's some conspiracy going on that my name is being. Uh, omitted from the raffle uh from the competitions i think you're scared that it's gonna make uh make it look like an inside job and i'm tired of it i want to be included in these giveaways okay so here's my idea Elias. when you take <laughs> that just kind of mute all of that and put it like an animal crossing song across of it that the way people just hear that <laughs> I'm putting a little subtitle. <laughs> That's a turkey song. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I actually, all that is randomized, of course. Uh, somebody was telling me to, I forget who was talking to me afterwards, but they were like, I see that a lot of the same people keep kind of winning. Do you think it's because they're talking in chat and it like it picks up on that or they're always there? I'm like, I have no idea how it works. Like, I just know that no, it's, all, it's all randomized. Uh, subscribers do have better chances of winning. But I was just like, I was kind of thinking about that. I don't know. Maybe I got to look into it because uh, like I, we, nah, I, we nah, have nah, had nah, like people, joking. we have had people who don't even watch the stream win stuff. So yeah, like, that's true. I don't know. That's true. So yeah. So yeah, no, no, no. I'm just joking. <laughs> all random. <laughs> all right. Well, it's your turn. Uh, well, uh, yes, we had the giveaway last night on April 10th. Uh, this month actually is my one year anniversary as an affiliate as well. Uh, we're going to do uh, an, uh, a, like a cooking stream on the 24th of April. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to come hang out. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash JRX4X. Uh, yes, uh, the giveaway night was amazing. It was more than I thought was going to happen. Uh, had like Lexi go absolutely bananas. Everybody was going crazy. Like I had so much activity, like literally like. At 263 followers right now, I'm like, holy shit. Like, literally, a lot of things are happening right now. Like, I did not think that we were going to do even, like, halfway into this year, especially with the things going on with COVID-19. So, I mean, I'm, like, literally feeling super blessed, and I appreciate everybody who's been helping me out. All right, so now I got to I gotta ask you, be honest, is it going to be a cooking stream or how not to cook stream? Uh, a little bit of both. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and as always, I'm just working on – I got my thing like the Twitch stream is going to start out on Monday again. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, that's the nat time spot. If you want to come check me out, feel free. Uh, actually, this will probably air on Wednesday, so you won't 
No, no, this is Monday. Yeah, this is Monday. Monday. Yeah, this is Monday. Monday. Oh, this is Monday. Okay, so today, my strip chip. Uh, <laughs> well, shout it out. What but, is it? You know, I just said the nap time spot. You know, come out, grab a pillow, take a nap. Four slash the nap time spot. No spaces, yeah, no underscores. It. No underscores, just all the nap time spot. All right, there we go. I'll explain <laughs> that on the stream if everybody, everybody wants to know what the hell happened, what the hell I named it that. So, oh. but. I guess that's all we got for today. Thank you guys for uh, checking in with us. And again, I'm JD, that's Los and Jerks, and we will see you guys on the flip side. All right. Peace. Goodbye. Goodbye.